Taking student attendance is a pretty common task teachers do every day. It is essentially mandatory so that we know where our students are, but it also allows us to observe patterns in attendance, helping us identify students who might need a bit of extra attention. Now, traditional methods of taking attendance, like with pen and paper, can be really time consuming and don't give you the flexibility of accessing attendance records quickly and efficiently, let alone identify attendance patterns over time. So in this video, I'll take you step by step on how to create a customized student attendance tracker within Notion. This tracker simplifies the attendance recording process by allowing you to tag each student with their attendance status for each day and calculates their overall attendance score. By using Notion in this way, you can save time on attendance tracking, observe attendance patterns, and have all of your records neatly organized and easily accessible. Before we get started, I will mention that creating a student attendance tracker in Notion uh, is a bit more advanced than building, say, a lesson planner. Uh, it does involve a few relation properties, roll-up properties, and formulas, uh, but if you follow along carefully, it'll be worth it in the end. Okay, let's begin by creating a new page and we'll title this uh, Student Tracker. We'll then come over to uh, full width here so we can uh, see more about what we're doing. The first thing we're going to do is create two inline databases. Uh, we're going to call the first one Attendance Days and we're going to call the second one Students. Okay, we can delete these tag properties here as we don't need them. There we go. The next thing we're going to do is add three relation properties for each of our attendance statuses. One for present, one for absent, one for late. So let's do that right now. We're going to come over here and go to relation. We're going to select on our student database here and we're going to call this present students. We're going to click on show on students and we're going to call this uh, present days. Let's change this to check mark here. Okay, and we can see that uh, the relation property has now shown up on both of our databases here. Okay, we're gonna do the exact same thing again, and this time for absent students. So we'll click on relation, we'll select on students, we're gonna call this absent students, and we'll click on show on students, and then we'll click on absent days here. We'll give this an icon here. There we go, and we'll do one more for uh, late status. So again, another relation property here, click on students, we'll call this, what is it, late students, show on students, and then we'll do late days. Add this here, we'll add an icon, there we go. Okay, so now we can see both of our uh, databases here. We have our attendance days uh, database and we have our students database and we have connected both databases with three different uh, relation properties. Each relation property will be to uh, kind of mark the student with their attendance status. So to demonstrate this, let's first delete some of these uh, blank entries and we'll add in a sample day. Today is it today? Let's say it's March 21st, 2024. And let's add in the student Milo. Now this is essentially how the attendance tracker will work. You'll add a day to the attendance day database and then uh, you will tag a student present, absent, or late. So let's tag our first student to present. You'll then see down on the student's database that uh, this particular day has shown up on the student entry for present day. This is essentially the basics of how this template will work. Uh, for every single day, you'll add a new day to attendance day. So let's add another one, let's say the 22nd. And then you'll tag your students based on their status. So let's say for this day, we'll tag Milo to absent. Let's add one more day for demonstration here. So we'll add in March 23rd and let's mark Milo as present. So you can see here that now as we tag this student uh, to more and more days, that the days will show up here. And so the key to making this attendance uh, tracker work is by using a roll-up property that will essentially count uh, the number of present days and the number of absent days. And this is how we can start tracking uh, student attendance properly. And so to start counting the number of days, 
uh, that a student might be present or late, we're going to add in three new properties. And this property is going to be a roll up property. So let's come over here and click on roll up. We're going to call this one present. We're going to select the same icon and we're going to have this roll up property count the number of present days uh, that the student has. So we're going to click on present days and we're going to go over to calculate and click on count unique values. So now you can see here that this roll up property has counted the amount of times a student has been tagged to uh, present day. So we're going to do this two more times for absent and for late days. So we'll click on plus. We'll come over to roll up. This one will be absent. We'll change the icon. We'll select absent days and we'll click on calculate unique values. Okay, and we'll do this one more time for late days. We'll come down here to roll up. We'll type in late, give it the icon again, and then we'll select late days, count unique values. Okay. Let's just clean it up a bit here so it's a little easier to see. Okay, and there we have it. Now we have a counter for, uh, for present days, absent, and late. So these relation properties here now in the student's database, uh, we can go ahead and hide these as we just don't need them anymore. It also just allows us to see the information uh, a little more clearly. Now, every time you tag a student, so let's uh, create a new day. Let's call this March 24th now. If we were to tag the student late, so let's click on late. You will now see that this counter should update uh, to now one late. Finally, to calculate the student's attendance score, we're going to add in our last property and it's going to be a formula property. So we'll come over here to formula and we're just going to call this attendance. Let's give this a little, maybe a little chart here and drag this over here. And now let's edit our formula. What we're going to do in this formula is actually really simple. We're just going to add up the uh, the present and the late days and then divide them by the total amount of days. And this should give us uh, our attendance score. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to present. We're then going to add them to late because really if a student is late, they are still present for the class. And so, so we should include that into the number of days that the student was uh, there at the school. We'll then divide that by the total. So let's go to present plus absent plus late. There we go. And we'll click on done. We'll then change this number here to a percentage. So let's go to percent and then we'll show as a bar. Great, and there we go. Now we can see the uh, the student's attendance score. So let's say we were to uh, change the student's status from, let's just change it from late and we'll make them absent. You can now see the attendance score will automatically change over time. To add a little extra functionality to this tracker, what if we wanted to click on one of these attendance days and see all of the attendance records for that day? Now to do that, we're gonna create our first template. Uh, but before, we're going to click, come down here and click on our student database and we're going to click on copy link because we'll need this later for our template. We're going to come back up to attendance day here. We're going to click on new and click on new template. I'm going to full screen this here so we can see it a little better and let's call this new day and then we'll give it an icon. Let's click on calendar. Now we'll copy over the student database we just copied. Let's click paste here and we'll click create linked view and then click on new empty view. We're going to use a list view for this. We'll click on list and let's just hide the database title and click on done. Now we're going to go to filter and we're going to filter by the present days. So click on present days and then select this new day that we just created. What this will do is that this will only show students that are tagged the present status for this given attendance day. And so we'll rename this and we'll call it present and we'll give it uh, our icon. Okay, 
Now let's do the exact same thing for absent and late students. We're going to copy this in again, create a linked view. We'll click on new empty view and click on list. We'll hide this database title and click done. We'll then give it the title absent. We'll change the icon to absent. Then we'll come over to filter here and this time we'll select absent days and select the filter to show this template day. Great. And we'll do it one more time just for the late students. New empty view, list, high database uh, title. We'll call this late. We'll then uh, have it show our icon. We'll click on done, filter, and this time by late days. Click on there. There we go. So every time we apply this template to a new day, we can then click on the uh, attendance day and it will show us all of the students that are tagged either for present, absent, or late. Now just to clean this up a bit, we're going to go to these properties here and we're going to set them to uh, minimal. This does two things. Uh, one, if you have many students, like 10, 20, maybe even 50 or above, uh, it gets really, really messy uh, if we don't do this. Also, having it show up as minimal, uh, this allows us to tag students uh, to their attendance status really quickly. We could just click on add present student, find the student and click them really easily here. Okay, let's go back here and now apply our new day template to uh, one of these. If we click on new day here. Okay, now we can see that one of our students, Milo, now shows up as present here. Great, so to have this template show up uh, automatically, uh, we can come over to the blue arrow again. We'll go to our new day template that we just created, and we'll now set this as default. So every time we create a new day, uh, this template will be applied automatically. Okay, the student tracker is just about done. The last thing we're gonna do is uh, clean up everything and maybe add in a few more sample students uh, just to demonstrate how this student tracker works properly. Okay, we've now cleaned up everything. Uh, we've added a, a template to the student just to show up a, a nice icon. Uh, we've added three more students and just added some headers to everything. So essentially, this is the student tracker. Let's kind of demonstrate how this might work. Uh, so for each day, you will click on either present, absent, or late and add in the students that have that status. So let's go to March 21st, add in Mark Daisy, and maybe Steph was absent that day. March 22nd, maybe Mark and Daisy uh, were here, Milo was absent, and then late was Steph. And we continue doing this uh, for each day. And each day, you can just click on Create New, and then type in the, the day here. So let's call this March 25th, 24 and then you will tag all of your students that are either here, absent, or late. And as you can see, it will automatically update uh, the student attendance score. And then again, if we come over to attendance days here, we can click on one of these days and we can see our students here. And if we wanted, we could add in our students just by clicking on one of these buttons here, adding in absent students, late or present. And there we go. That's essentially how we create this uh, student tracker. Being able to keep attendance records in Notion ensures that your student information uh, is neatly organized and easily accessible from anywhere. Also, it allows you to communicate better with parents about attendance issues that students might have. If you would like to download a free version of the template I just made in this video, uh, go ahead and click the download link in the description below. Also, if you're curious about how Notion can be used for teaching, go and check out my website where I have a variety of templates and resources. And that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and thank you for watching.